Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Wednesday, which means a new video, and welcome to the new upload time of 4 p.m. in the afternoon UK time. Um, today's video, we're gonna be ranking the season seven B Troopers from like my least favorite to my favorite, but it's in terms of dance ability. So who I think is kind of the weakest member to the strongest member. Before this video starts, I obviously just had to say this is purely my own opinion. If you disagree with any of the placings, that's absolutely fine. Let me know who you disagree with down below, maybe give a reason why, but obviously respect my opinion as I will respect yours. And also this isn't a reflection of the real cast member. Like obviously they're dancing the same person, but for example, I know that Molly Saunders doesn't mess up her choreography every time she dances like Jude does. So at the bottom of our list, we have Jude. I know that a lot of people really like Jude and I've just honestly never been on the Jude hype. I feel like Jude dances very predictably and also quite repetitively. Like every time I see Jude dance, I don't think she shocked me once. Like I've never been like, wow, that's really cool. It's always just kind of been the same thing. And I kind of think she stays on one level. She doesn't really push herself much. It just it isn't entertaining to me. I also think she does a lot of filler movements in her improv. Like she'll ju do like an arm and then she'll just do like some floaty stuff when she can't think of what's coming next. It just feels like, yeah, I just want a bit more from Jude. I want to see her really push herself and challenge herself and really bring loads of energy, show me some brand new moves that she's done and just like, I don't know, impress me. Because I like when she does the group choreo, like in the um, show you how routine and stand up. I like the bits where it's choreographed and she's doing the whole group choreo, but it seems when she's by herself solo, she's just very weak. I also think she could afford to use her head and intention a lot more. Like she tends to just look forwards all the time and be smiley rather than like looking at her hand as it goes out, looking at her head, her head, looking at the sky as her head goes round. It's just a dance teacher pet peeve for me. Obviously Jude does have an issue with picking up choreography as fast, so I'm kind of not counting that but it is a weakness at the same time. So I'm counting it but I'm not fully making that the reason why she's at the bottom. Actually, now I think of it, I did like the um, choreo she did in season seven, episode 19. It was a little bit sharper and there were times where I thought, oh yeah, that's really cool from Jude. It's nice to see her doing that. I just want to see that a bit more. Above Jude, I then have two people. I have Maya and Grace. We'll start with Maya, but they're in the same position. I feel like Maya also does a lot of filler kind of movements and she could afford to have a lot more energy. I feel like her personality is quite sassy and energetic, but then when she dances, it seems like she doesn't fully give her all. Like I'd love to see her do some like killer kind of commercial style hip hop jazz routine rather than just I don't know, like when I think of Myra, I just think of her doing leaps, doing a few legs, doing a few more arms like Jude does. I just wanna see her attack choreo more. I do think her um, balletic technique is good though. Like she has great legs, she can turn, but I just wanna see her attack choreo more and do something a bit harder. Cause I just feel like some of the B troopers aren't pushing themselves as much as they probably could. So Grace is also in this position. Cause I feel like Grace, I like the energy she brings at times. Like for example, in the show you how routine, I really liked it when she dropped down into the split and she did her head round in a circle. It seems like she has the ability to be sassy and have energy when she needs to. But then other times it's just very like missable. Like Grace is a forgettable dancer in my opinion. She can also do tap, which is why I've put her above Maya. But one thing I really didn't like was her audition in season seven, episode three. I just feel like it was super quick. We didn't really see her do anything much. Um, but I did like when she, I think she did her arms and then she was like, this i like that that's the kind of slight sass i like to see from grace and i would love to see her just push herself more it's a running theme for these b-troopers i just feel like they have the potential but when they do the dances they don't show it next is marcus and i was quite questionable putting marcus this kind of low but that I do have my reasons so first of all i really like his jumps and his leaps they're so high like I, they're probably higher than Kingston's and Kingston is like all the way up there with his leaps and jumps. I also think he has loads of energy and he's super versatile. Like we've seen him do contemporary, we've seen him do hip hop and attack that. He's probably really good at jazz as well. I don't think we've seen him do like jazzy movements. Oh, and he can also do tap, which is excellent. But I do think he can look a bit stiff at times. Um, and he has the same concentration face that Rochelle tends to have a lot of the time. So I just love to see him be a bit more expressive, a little bit more charismatic and just dance like he's just a bit looser because it seems like he's just hitting the moves. He's not really pushing himself to his full 
capability. One above Marcus, I have put Cleo. During the alternate auditions, I think Cleo was much stronger in the trio than when she was solo. And I love it when she just shows a little bit more attitude and her personality comes through. I think her tutting in stand-up was also very good. I just think Cleo thrives when she's with other people rather than being by herself. In her audition as well, if I go back to that, she did look down at the floor quite a lot and you could kind of tell that she was nervous. I don't know whether that was Danny or whether that was Cleo. Also, if I'm being really nitpicky, in season seven, episode 19, she did fall out of her turn, but it was a contemporary dance and Cleo's dominant style isn't contemporary. So I'm gonna kind of let that slide a little bit. But yeah, she's just not the strongest dancer, but I think she definitely brings a lot more energy and passion. And I don't know, she just kind of brings more for me than all the people I've mentioned before her. Yeah. Above Cleo, I have then put Winnie. Now, I'm mostly basing this on her season six performances because in season seven, Maddie Langdon, who plays her, was injured um, for majority of Winnie's episodes. I think it was only um, season seven, episode 14, that Maddie wasn't injured, of where we saw Winnie dance anyway. But I really like Winnie's versatility. So we saw her do contemporary. We've seen her do killer hip hop in season six with B Troop, especially season six. I just think Winnie was so good really oh and she did jazz as well in her duet with Heath also her duet with Kingston was brill I love the isolations and the tutting in that I just think that because obviously season six Winnie and season seven Winnie are the same Winnie I can't just only base it on season seven if she was in season six as well so I like Winnie's versatility and I know that she can't attack those movements if she had the capability to do so what we did see of Winnie in season seven though I don't think it was the most impressive I feel like she did a few moves that really made me go yes Winnie's back um but she could have no she has the charisma and like the stage presence but I feel like she's not the most flexible on the team um her technique compared to say Maya and Marcus isn't as high as theirs. She can't leap as high as them either, but she brings enough in charisma and she just has more energy than they do. And I feel like she's a lot more well-rounded and based on her season six performance as well, that's why I've put her where she is. I also feel like she danced a bit more confidently than some of the other B troopers like Grace, Jude, Maya and Cleo. They seem to be a bit more nervous when they dance, whereas Winnie seems to just go for it even if she doesn't have as good a technique as those people or she's not as flexible and stuff like that but I think Winnie just really brings it when she needs to. Above Winnie we then have Pete and I think Pete is so cute. Pete has the charisma that I really want Marcus to have. Um, he hits his hip hop moves really hard. You can tell that he's really into his movements. He has the energy and he also addresses the audience, which I like. But there were a few times when I was watching his performances, um, he kind of looked at the floor a little bit, but when he does look at the audience, he really kind of connects with them and he has a lot of stage presence, which I like. I've put him above the people below him because I just think in his dominant style that he self-proclaims himself to be dominant in he is stronger than the other people below him and also he has the stuff like the charisma and he he brings it and he's just kind of a team player i i think when you see b troop it's like oh yeah pete is good on the team one above pete i have then put izzy and you're probably thinking oh here she goes we all know izzy is alicia's favorite so she's put her here no, I have actually been very objective with this. So I think Izzy's energy is great. I would love for all the B troopers to have Izzy's energy and attack for her movements. So I would love to see Izzy just be pushed a little bit more when she's freestyling and doing improv. I also think that her age is a reason that I've put her so high. She is considerably younger than the rest of the B troopers, but she has the energy that they need. She has the expressions that they need. She has the attack on her movements that they need. So that's also why I've put her so high. High. I think the best time Izzy's danced is her duet with Heath so I need the next step to release that extended duet very soon please. So in second place I then have Ethan. Now Ethan I think has great balletic technique. Um, he can turn really well, he can do all these really high kicks, he can do he can leap as well um, but I feel like he could afford to also be a bit more charismatic. I feel like for Ethan he's either really serious or sassy. There's no in between where he's just kind of flown through the movements. It's kind of just blank. And then at times he'd be like, yeah, you know, you know, I'm good. But I've put him higher than everyone else because I feel like he can do the movements better in a sense of the energy, the um, dynamics of them. He's really sharp. He brings personality as well, which I like. In terms of the people below him, he either is more versatile than them or he has more stage presence. 
So in first place, we then have Presley. I think Presley would kind of expect herself to be at the top of the list, but I didn't just put her there because, wow, she's really, really good. I think Presley's versatility in the styles is why I put her so high, and also she seems like a natural leader. For example, in stand-up, you could tell that Presley was the lead dancer, but she wasn't the lead dancer. Like, the dance didn't revolve around Presley, but she led it very well. I love the bit where they're doing this move but i just think presley looks like she's so fluid doing that and she also attacks it really well even though she's primarily an acro contemporary dancer she can also do hip-hop obviously she was also in season six as well and when she was that young she was still very impressive she can do all these tricks in season six and season seven that rochelle is doing um she can do news that the other b troopers can't but that's not said she's better than them just because they're different but i think presley owns her style and she's very strong in it but she can also do other things she's sharp she uses her expressions well if she's doing a contemporary dance like her savior solo which was acro contemporary she had more of a serious expression but then on the leaps she really expressed was expressionate when she was like doing this to the camera um she was really like not aggressive but you know she had the right face for it i just feel like presley is a very good performer she also hits the small movements which like i said was a little um dance teacher pet peeve of mine when they don't like look at their arm when it's moving presley hits all those tiny moves and the tiny little accents in her dances she hits them all and i honestly just feel like if you put presley in a dance she would do well because she's she's got the confidence to go with her ability it's not just about being a good dancer she also wears it on her face that she knows what she's doing she's a leader she's confident she's sharp she's dynamic just i really like watching presley dance so yes that was my ranking of all of the b troopers in season seven i think i'm going to do a video ranking the season seven a troopers which will probably be a bit controversial you know but you know I love controversy. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. On Sunday, I'm not uploading another guess the reference guess the reference will be resumed from next week but this sunday i have a halloween themed video which i am just about to film i'm going to be writing my own halloween episode that they could potentially do um so if you're intrigued by that then definitely tune in on sunday and then the week after will be our final guess the reference episode for season one and then i'm gonna like compile a list of potential potential um what are they called contestants to do it and then once i've got like five confirmed i'll reboot season two just so it doesn't fizzle out like oh no one wants to do it anymore i'm gonna have to tell the audience that no one wants to do it and end it abruptly so yes i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you on sunday for another one bye